What are your thoughts on what's happening with Andrew Tate? Uh, I was talking to him like the day before it happened. So that was kind of surprising to see his WhatsApp kind of go quiet. And then like, oh, wow, he's fucking, uh, you know, getting arrested and taking his cars and shit now. So I like Tate a lot, um, but I'm also under no delusions. And I've known him for years, since 2019, uh, before he blew up in 2022 last year, you know, big time. So I like Tate a lot. Uh, I've got a lot of love for the guy. He's always been a big supporter of 20 Minute Studios. I've interviewed him like four times, twice in person and twice online. Um, Tate's kind of like a cat. Uh, he has like nine lives. So I hope this is all bullshit. I hope it goes away. I hope he gets out of it. Uh, but at the same time, I don't know how many lives he has left as a cat. Uh, it's just some pretty big shit he's got into. He's made a lot of enemies. People, I would think, with a lot of money. George, maybe not George Soros types, but miniature kind of George Soros figures, WF kind of stuff. Uh, Romania is not a great country. Um, he had certain, there's certain things to it that he liked. Obviously, that's why he lived there. But yeah, I don't know if he's gonna get out of this, man. Uh, I hope he does, and all that. I hope he's innocent. I hope it's all bullshit. To me, a lot of the accusations or the stuff people are lobbing at him is sounding like disgruntled employees, chicks that worked for him, you know, years ago as like some stripper and OnlyFans or yeah. something, and now they're coming back around like he didn't pay me and he said he loved me, but he really didn't. Yeah, you know, mental coercion. I was seeing today in AP News and the Associated Press. This is all fucking bullshit. So he's been such an advocate for masculinity, though, and against feminism and this kind of woke, global homo world we live in. I think they're taking him out, um, independent of what he did. And I have no doubt he's done some shady shit. I mean, Tate, I've always looked at him like a bull shark, like he's a sociopath. It was, that's why I kind of like him. Like, mm -hmm. I'm on the beach chilling. <laughs> he's out there biting, like, you know, attacking people I fucking hate and stuff. He's done a lot of good for the manager, too, that people don't know about. He's helped me combat frauds a lot behind the scenes. Uh, two examples I can give, for example, would be Jack Murphy, the cuck, the literal cuck. And then uh, Modern Life Dating, who's a child stalker. Hmm. So he's helped, you know, him and his brother would really, when it really mattered with the fraud, they would step in and help out. And he was not public about this. A lot of people don't know about it. But he was instrumental in combating these kind of frauds. Jack Murphy was a huge one. Easily one of the biggest man. How was frauds. he involved with uh, that? I'll say that he was, I mean, he's in jail right now. Let's see what I can say. He was instrumental in.